Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington from GMUstudent.com and today we're going to finish up with our tutorials about templates and we're going to learn how to make changes to our template and how to make changes to web pages that we make from our template. So let's open up Dreamweaver and here's the template that we've been working on. So if we want to make a web page from this template, we'll just go File, New, go to Page from Template then find wherever your site is defined and find whatever you name that template. We named it here site underscore template and just click create. So now you have a web page that has been generated from that template. So let's save it. Let's go file, save as, and I'm going to call it index.html and click save. So now I have my index page. Now as you can see, if I hover anywhere on this template that is not in that editable region that we defined, it won't let me do anything. That's because it's not an editable region. But in the editable region, we can t click our content area and type in this really works and that is the only area that we can edit. Now say a couple years go down the road and we want to change our heading, we're, ne we're sick of the blue and we want to change it to red. Well, if we change it to red, we can actually change it on every single web page that we make. How do we do that? Go back to our Dreamweaver template and let's just click where that is and let's change the color to red. Go File, Save, and it will say, do you want to update the files, especially to index.html? It will have all of the web pages that you've made for that template. And just click update. It'll say it's taking some time to do it. And when it's done, it'll say done right here and click close. So guess what it's going to look like when we go to that index.html page. Let's go there and check that out. Now it's red. So say if we wanted to add a couple more uh, spry menu bar objects or anything like that, we would just do it on the template and all of our web pages will be edited. So thank you for watching this uh, Dreamweaver series and uh, I hope this was useful. This has been Christopher Carrington from GMUstudent.com and stay tuned for more useful tutorials.